a new day, another city. So uh, today I am leaving Yerevan and I'm going to be heading over to Giyomi, which is in the east, uh, sorry, in the west of Armenia. Uh, since I've been here, the war has, uh, or the fighting has been uh, kicking off between uh, Armenia and uh, Azerbaijan. And yeah, since I've been in the country, the the tone and the feel definitely has changed. So uh, I'm uh, going to be moving to uh, Georgia on Sunday, uh, but a couple of days in Gyumi with uh, uh, one of my friends who you might recognise from uh, my quad biking in Kazakhstan video. So uh, yeah, have a, another look at that video if uh, if you missed it. So what you just saw was a supply box, a well, a daily supply box, which is going to the front lines between Armenia and Azerbaijan. So in the last four or five days uh, since I've been here, uh, conflicts broken out and the whole kind of atmosphere of uh, Yerevan has changed. Uh, what I've seen is people coming together. I've seen so many of people kind of gathering supplies and sending them to the front lines. The people that I just spoke to who were at that booth, uh, they said this is the fifth uh, supply run that they're doing. And uh, it's just not really talked about in uh, Europe. I saw one day on BBC News talking about it. In the last few days, over 100 uh, uh, Armenian soldiers were shot. Uh, only 60 kilometers from which is I think about 50 miles from uh, where I am at the moment uh, What I've seen though is strong and passionate people in uh, Armenia people coming together working as a community I've seen uh, Younger people fearful for their uh, their friends on the front line uh, and Loved ones hoping everything's gonna be okay uh, I've heard the violence has kind of toned down a little bit now uh, in the last uh, day or two but uh, it's still active and it's still uh, still an ongoing uh, issue but um, I've seen so many of these supply uh, supply drops and uh, it's not just that one it's you walk up the street and there's well I've seen three or four like just today and it's every day they're all getting filled up and all being sent to the front line and uh, it just shows what uh, the people of uh, Armenia are willing and capable to do and, and kind of like what their uh, soul is made of because when it comes down to it it's just a, uh, a loving country who puts their people and their community and their family first which is lovely to see. Yes, we've made it to Gyurmi. Gyurmi? How do you pronounce it? Gyurmi. Gyurmi. Oh, sorry. Gyurmi. 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 So we finally made it. We uh, just helped a little uh, Armenian babushka. <laughs> we just bought her uh, a watermelon. It was so cheap. So um, yeah, now we're going to go and find a taxi and uh, go check out uh, our accommodation for the next uh, day and a half. Finally made it to the accommodation, three hour train and a uh, bit of a mess around with the taxis. But we're here. Happy? Yeah. 
So it is 10 o'clock on Saturday. Uh, just about to leave my accommodation. Well, I've got my uh, train to Tbilisi, Georgia at midnight. Uh, seven hour sleeper train. Uh, I've got one of the upper bunks again, similar to what I had uh, when I was going to Samarkand in Uzbekistan. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But I'm going to uh, get my bags ready and uh, head off soon. Right, off I go. See you in Georgia. Right. To the train station. My train's in 30 minutes, so uh, fingers crossed I make it in time, but it should be okay. So I'm on the train, but uh, there's people in my bed. There's people in my uh, in my booth. So uh, I went to the rail guard, and then he said, "Oh no, your train's for tomorrow." And I'm like, "No, it's not." <laughs> and uh, he's gone in there and just try to kick them out. So now I've got to wait a few minutes for them to actually come out the room. Never anything simple. Never. Passport stamped and uh, ready to get into Georgia. Uh, we went outside uh, to uh, get our passport stamped and um, it was pretty much uh, standing in a, uh, a wasp's nest. It was just literally wasps absolutely everywhere and a few uh, a few stray dogs as well but uh, other than that it was all good um, really painless process um, the whole border crossing has been so easy uh, in comparison to the Kazakh Uzbek border uh, but yeah ready to go So we've arrived in Tbilisi. Um, one thing that was actually quite funny, two guys from one of my hostels in Yerevan were not only on the same train, but in the same carriage, and we didn't organize it at all. So, <laughs> hello. Hey, and where are you guys from? Uh, from Iran. From Iran? Yeah. Uh, nice. Iran, Iran, Ukraine. Yeah. yeah. Iranian, but Turkish branch. Nice, cool. <laughs> Well, uh, I think we're going to go get a coffee now and then uh, go check out some more of the city. So I just got to my apartment. Uh, already, I love it. Like, it's good price. I've got an entire apartment to myself for three weeks. Something that I have not had for a while now. Uh, but just have a look at it. Like, this is just the window in the hallway. Beautiful, beautiful views down the uh, corridors. So we've got like a, a spare room, sofa here. Again, looking out over, over the old city. Then a lovely big bedroom. Lots of mirrors. I'm gonna have a great time here. So uh, now I'm gonna, well, quickly get changed, have a shower and all of that. And then go meet uh, Aiden, a guy who I met in uh, Tashkent. You'd recognize him from the uh, <clears throat> top five things to do in Tashkent video that I put up uh, a couple of months back or a month back or so. So. Uh, Go check that out if you haven't watched it already, and uh, yeah, let's go and uh, let's go and meet him. So we've just had lunch, I'm with uh, Aiden. Hey. He was in the uh, top five things of Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Uh, yeah, go check out that video if you haven't seen it already. And I think we're gonna go uh, check out uh, more of Tbilisi. A waterfall at the middle of Tbilisi. Ooh. A 
amazing. <laughs> What's it made of? Is it all solid? 6, 9, 10, 12 pound. It's quite light. It's one kind of light. But it looks pretty cool. But I don't want to pay for it. Like, right? No, you couldn't. Yeah. I think it's all the different Russian enclaves. So I'm back at the apartment, I've just got changed. I think this is a great place to leave the video. It's been a really nice day, uh, just exploring the city with Aiden, checking out different parts, seeing the flea market, seeing the waterfall. I can't wait to be here for, I, well, I don't know if I'm gonna be in Tbilisi for three weeks or till in Georgia until the end of November. Let, let's see, I haven't got any kind of fixed plans, but uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, what this city is gonna hold. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to have a great time here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to like and comment and subscribe to this channel. Uh, more videos are coming very, very soon. I've uh, got some really interesting ones in the pipeline, uh, especially for all of you people interested in Soviet history and things like that. So, uh, yeah, please, uh, please subscribe and um, share this video with everyone. Anyway, have a good day.